day, Pisces. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for November. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that these messages are general. And they will not resonate with all of you guys. If it does not resonate with you, Pisces, or if you guys are looking for additional messages, you guys can always check your moon or rising sign. All right? So let's hop in, Pisces. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love for November. I will be looking into the recent past, present energy, and seeing what is crossing you guys at this time. All right? The link to the extended reading will be pinned in the comments below. All right? So let's see what's going on. All right, let's see. Messages for Pisces and love for November Pisces. All right, let's see, Pisces. Recent past, we have a fool. Sorry, Pisces. Um, we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Five of Wands. Present energy, we have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. What's crossed to you guys is the Moon. That is your energy, Pisces, or it could be with a Cancer. At the bottom, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, all right? So the Knight of Cups in reverse, we know is an unfaithful lover, somebody unfaithful, somebody coming back from the past, or somebody coming back around, but you know what they're all about, what they want, all right? So... Could be a Scorpio you guys are dealing with, but let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. So in the recent past, it looks like with the Fool, you guys started some type of new beginning. It's a new beginning, a uh, clean slate. Um, well, I wouldn't say a clean slate because I don't, well, for some of you guys it could be, but I don't see that you guys were, well, to me, clean slate, well, I just feel like you guys started a new beginning, some type of new beginning. I don't feel like it was where you guys were like, okay, let's start over your relationship with this person. Could have been, could have been, could have been. But we have the Ten of Swords here, so enough was enough. And you put this behind you. You got tired of fighting and arguing with this person. You guys are definitely in a conflict about the situation. Or there was just a lot of people, outside influences, blockages, or, you know, things coming in between the relationship here. So it looks like you guys, like, kind of put this behind you. And we're going, you're going towards your new beginning here. All right? Now, the Fool to the Three of Cups, a lot to celebrate. Happy, dating other people. It looks like right now you guys are in a really good energy going out hanging out with friends and stuff we have the nine of pentacles so this is you guys single for some of you guys your money has even like increased like something has changed with you guys financially so you guys are feeling independent confident like you're happy and then out of nowhere somebody is popping up okay because the knight of swords is something that is unexpected it could be something out the blue and i feel like it is this person from the past okay um now some of you guys are going to have a one night stand with somebody and I would just say don't do it. Somebody's going to have like a one night stand or mess with somebody and they're going to become obsessed. And they're going to show you a side that you were like not even expecting with this moon. And you're going to be like, what the hell? All right. But let's see what's going on. All right. So let's see what's crossing you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, also Venus. Why is the moon here for Pisces? Yeah, it could be a Scorpio too. We have the nine of wands that came out. If it's meant to come back out, it will come out. Let's see. What is the overall energy for Pisces? With the moon, we have the father in reverse. All right. So, yeah, I'm getting that there's somebody around you guys that is like, they're not about nothing. Like, there is like, I wouldn't trust them. Okay, it's the, the emperor in reverse, the father in reverse, we have it with the moon, okay? So I feel like they're, like, they don't have good intentions, okay? I feel like they're definitely keeping something from you. I feel like they don't have good intentions. I feel like this can be that person that's coming back around to creep and mess around with you, like, wanting some type of hookup. Yeah, we have the tower here, sexual energy. They're, they could also be, like, you know, going through some type of breakup right now, so they're, like, reaching out to you. But I feel like this person is reaching out just to flirt. Okay, like, you know, like, hey, what's up with you? What's going on? So this is what's crossing you guys. Yeah, the seven of the swords. Sorry, seven of swords reverse. So I feel like this is someone that you caught in an act or somebody that lied to you that deceived you in the past. All right, you maybe know this person to be a liar. Okay, you caught him up in many lies with that seven of swords reverse. But let's see what's going on. Let's see. That's what's crossing you guys. Let's see. We have a fool here. Recent past. 
We have the Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, so a new beginning for you. See how we have the Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords reverse. So some of you guys were like, yeah, I can't do this. It's time for me to, you know, say goodbye. Like, you have betrayed me one too many times. You've hurt me one too many times. So I see a new beginning for you guys in the recent past. Yeah, Four of Pentacles reverse. Definitely ending things, breaking things off with somebody. You know, you retired or whatever you guys are going through with that person and wanted some type of new beginning. Definitely wanted out of this situation. Okay? So let's see how the Ten of Swords is here. Recent past for Pisces. We have it with the Ten of Cups. So once something ended, you guys were like, I'm definitely going to go towards my Ten of Cups. I'm ready for my Ten of Cups situation. Or you guys could have met somebody and you felt as if this was like your Ten of Cups. Okay? So to see the Ten of Cups there, it's telling me like after some type of breakup or split up, you guys could have met somebody. Or like that is just like that's that's what you want like you're trying to attract this ten of cups like your life partner or some type of like or like you know like some type of relationship or like partnership let's see why the ten of cups is here the two of wands reverse now for some of you guys it wasn't that you guys were trying to attract that what it was is that you know tens are completions and endings as well so i thought there was a situation that you guys were in that you once thought was like a ten of cups situation that ended up it led to betrayal and deception and it didn't go anywhere with the two of wands reverse okay so that can also be like why you guys are moving forward and wanting this new beginning from the past. We have the nine of swords reverse. Yeah, so nine of swords reverse, like definitely not trying to stress about it, okay? I feel like maybe you like just lost some sleep. You guys are stressed, you know, worked up a little bit, but you're just like, no, it's not going anywhere. So I'm not about to keep stressing over this person, this situation. Yeah, two of wands. It looks like you guys made a decision to move on, move forward, and leave, okay? Some of you guys could have went towards somebody else. Now, let's see. We have the five of wands. This is all in the recent past. We have the seven of cups. So, it looks like you guys could have moved forward or moved um, forward with a cancer or moved on from a cancer, okay, or left a cancer, And it could have just been due to the confusion, multiple people. So somebody was dealing with multiple people. I'm also getting like you guys are moving forward and like keeping your options open or just maybe talking to other people. But just it looks like you guys definitely have decided to like just move on, move forward. All right. So let's see. We have the chariot here. Why is the chariot here for Pisces recent past? We have the page of swords. So I feel like you guys did tell somebody you're like, I'm just ready to move on. And you were just, you know, honest. Like maybe you didn't want to tell them in this type of way, but you're just like, you know what? I think it's best that we just move on from each other. So I see you guys like just kind of moving on, moving forward, okay? So let's pull some cards for the recent past. So it looks like in the recent past, what I'm really getting is that um, what I'm getting for a lot of you guys in the recent past is that you guys started some type of new beginning, okay? You guys left somebody, left a relationship behind, left somebody behind, and you're all about this new beginning. You're all about what you want right now, and it looks like you guys are trying to attract new love or want new love into your life. Let's see, recent past for Pisces. We have self-love, so intention. So I feel like you guys are definitely focused on your self-love. Looks like you guys are setting intentions and are manifesting at this time. Let's see, messages for Pisces. We have present, abundant, and gratitude. So it looks like you guys are also showing and expressing a lot of gratitude to the universe. Okay, maybe showing gratitude to the situation. Like, you know, like, universe, thank you for putting me through this because it taught me a lot. You know, I'm not loving myself or, you know, maybe you guys are just doing your daily gratitude. That can be it as well. All right, let's see. So this is all in a recent past. We have guarded and we have vulnerability. So it looks like you guys kind of blocked this person out. You guys are, you know, guarded. I feel like you guys are holding back your feelings and your emotions and just really focusing on itself. I do see with the Mercury here, messages, travel, communication. It looks like somebody could be traveling towards you or there could be messages coming in. I feel like with the higher self card, you already know what this person wants to talk about. Okay? I feel like you already know like what this person wants to say or what they want to talk about is what I'm getting with that. All right? So let's see what's going on in the present energy. We have the Three of Cups here. Why the Three of Cups here? Eight of Cups. So, yeah, it looks like you guys have definitely walked away from a situation. You're open to new beginnings, new people, hanging with friends, dating, like I said. And we have judgment here, rebirth. So, somebody may be coming back around. That could be that Knight of Cups in reverse, asking for a second chance. Like, you know, like, I want a second chance. I know you walked away from me and wanting some type of second chance. Things have changed. I'm not obligated to that person, that situation. Or if they have, like, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things going on, they're just like... 
you know, there's a lot of weight off of me. So like, I'm not dealing with the same things anymore. But I also see this as you guys like kind of setting your boundaries and kind of saying no to this person and being open to new love as well. Let's see. We have this nine of pentacles here. Two of pentacles. There could be a couple people you're talking to, Pisces. But one of them is definitely a trickster. Yes. One of them definitely is deceptive. I feel like somebody new has come into your life or you just met somebody and they're gonna it's a distraction. I would say like don't don't do it. Don't do it, Pisces. Don't do it, Pisces. Let's see. Why is this two of pentacles in re I mean, why is the magician in reverse? Could be a verbal or a Gemini doing this. Don't do it. Four of swords. I don't see it going anywhere. Four of swords. I don't. And we have the seven of wands in reverse. You'll see that very soon. Or this might be like some type of hidden and quitted type thing. Or it's like they're only trying to connect with you for one thing. But I just, Pisces, don't do it. Okay? This person might also come into your life and tell you that they're dealing with something financially to kind of get you to open up to kind of see if you will give in to them financially. But I see this person like in and out getting what they want or getting like, it's like, it's like they want, what, it's like whatever this is they want, it's like they're in and out with it. Okay? So I would just definitely like, no, don't do it. Don't do it. And they're going to come off as if like, if with the lovers here, like, oh, we got this connection. I'm feeling you. Don't do it. Don't do it, Pisces. Don't do it, Pisces. I do see you guys moving forward with somebody, though. Okay? So, if you guys are talking to two people or a couple people, um, Pisces, what I'm going to say is, like, somebody's really trying to get your attention. Okay? Or somebody is, like, somebody has your attention. But I feel like the person that has your attention the most is a person that you guys should be careful of or watch out for. Okay? I do see some type of commitment or some type of relationship coming in. Towards the end of the year, going towards the new year, that would be, you know, a success. But I don't see it with this person. Why is it not a sword here? Yep, see the four of wands reverse. Whoever this person is that's coming in, like, very aggressive, like, you know, like, oh, you my girl, like, you mine, like, I want you. They, they ain't shit. Like, if there there won't be no relationship. They don't want a relationship. They don't want any kind of commitment. They don't want anything serious. I wouldn't trust them. All right, we have a queen of wands. All right, so with the Queen of Wands coming out, after all this self-love and all that, it's like in Saturn being here. For some of you guys, I feel like this is a huge lesson, some type of test, okay? All right, because the Queen of Wands is like very confident in, within herself. Like, she, like she's very confident. Like she knows her self-worth. Like she's confident. So I feel like what it's telling me is like this person is going to try to pull a number on you, Pisces. Okay? Don't give in. Don't. Don't. Justice is here. Don't. This is a test for some of you guys. This is. It definitely is. Yeah. This is a test to see if you know your self-worth and value. Okay. And it's also about how quick how quick you guys bond with people and how quick you guys get into relationships. But somebody is trying to get over and pull a number on you and I wouldn't give you. Like, see, you have the six of pentacles. And then look, we have the six of swords. We have the three of wands and we have the death card. Somebody getting what they want, having you think or feel like something's moving forward, trying to like lead you on or have you give in to them. And then the death card, it just be over and done. Could be a Scorpio. All right. If you meet this person and like after a few days or a week, you guys are like, oh, this is it. Like we got this bond, this connection out this world. Like I'm feeling them. It's not like don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Someone is someone is not what they what they seem to be, with the with the um, Knight of Cups in reverse. Don't do it. Don't do it, Pisces. Don't. Don't. You guys have a relationship that is coming in that will be healthy for you guys to move forward. All right. That's um, why is the um, Father in reverse? Yeah. Don't. See, look. It's like they're gonna stop talking to you and everything. Like, don't. Whoever this person is. Yep. See, look. They're the devil. Okay. They're the devil. Whoever this person is. Could be a Capricorn you guys are meeting or Aries or Pisces. We have all the signs here. But just don't do not do it, Pisces. I just, I'm just going to keep telling you guys. Don't give in. Don't do it. All right? All right? Don't do it. Let's see? Pisces. 
of present energy. Let's see what we got. We have release, surrender. Yep, it's time for you to release and surrender to something. It could be like you're like maybe this like is a test for you guys to like, you know, surrender to that, you know, like to not be so open, be so given, so understanding. Like, you know, like and it's not that you guys can't be like that, but it's just like you just got out of something like that or it's a bad situation. So don't jump straight into another one. Like, you know, it says epiphany, a breakthrough. Yeah, you're going to realize something for sure. And we have so yeah, what did I tell you? This is a, definitely about your self-worth. Okay? It definitely is. It definitely is. And for some of you guys, you guys are separated from someone where there's there's potential for a relationship in the future. But during this separation, it what you're learning is like what you're what the universe is trying to like you need to know your self worth. And that is a huge lesson for you guys. Okay? And it's saying like even though there may be confusion and stuff like that, you may not understand it now. But I feel like, like during this separation or down the line, you will understand and see why the universe separated you and this person. Okay, I do see a genuine offer coming in with Venus in the offer card. Okay, I do see an offer coming in. And I do see something very stable coming in. Okay, something that is going to be good in long term. But it's... It, this is a test. Okay, don't do it. Pisces. All right. So you guys, you, you are being tested. All right. Let's pull a couple more messages for you, uh, Pisces, and then that will be your reading. Messages for Pisces. We have cancer. There can be a cancer involved. It says, I love your eyes. So somebody could be like flirting with you, like, oh, I love your eyes. You have beautiful eyes. You know, just like, and then look, I'm not ready for commitment. I, I, I'm I, sure they're not, whoever this is, because this person is like in and out. Like, this is somebody that is not even looking for a commitment or anything. We have Gemini. You guys can be dealing with a Gemini. There can be a Gemini involved. And then we have, I'm coming back. Please don't leave me. All right. So it looks like there can be somebody coming back. There could be a Gemini or a Cancer coming back. All right. I'm coming back. Please don't leave me. Ace of Cups. Somebody is coming back to make a love to make a love offer, and it could be this, you know. But like I said, like there is something that you are learning, and you guys are being tested right now, okay? Um, and right now, it's like the universe wants you to focus on self love and self worth, self value, like you know, know your self worth and value and self love. That is like key right now, okay? And enjoy being single for some of you guys, and just because somebody has your attention or is telling you certain things, don't be so quick to believe or just jump into something all right i feel like he got you in a bad situation before or in the past but pisces this is definitely a test for you guys all right so we'll see how this plays out on the extended reading i will pin the link in the comments below if it resonated please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me pisces fireintuition.com all right bye loves